Well, good morning. Today is November 23. This is episode 7. And this, of course, is Torino. It's a very, very pretty morning here. So we looks like we're going to hit at least three, maybe four days with no rain or significant rain. And uh, it's cool. You know, it's only about 77, 78 degrees in the evenings and in the mornings. And this time of year, we don't, you know, we might top out at 85 degrees. Uh, so it's very pleasant. Yesterday, we got a load of... Uh, 1,000 concrete hollow blocks. Uh, I was wanting to do a do a wet pour, you know, a form pour for walls, but it's going to be a never, another project. I need to get some more experience on a smaller scale doing that. Uh, so we searched for some. I mean, concrete hollow blocks here. The, the quality can vary widely. You know, anywhere. And, you know, it's all reflected in the price. You know, it could be anywhere from six or eight pesos a block all the way up to, you know, 50, 55, 56, 60 pesos a block. But, um, so that's how much the quality can vary. Uh, we, we picked some up from uh, contact of my nephew. Uh, I think we paid 22 cents per block and we'll get a closer look at them uh, so I'll meet you back down at the site I'm back down here at the site and uh, here's a what you're seeing here is a, one, a little over a thousand concrete blocks and uh, these particular blocks were uh, were poured just this week so they're gonna undergo some curing here before we before we use them you can tell by the color you know they're still a dark gray and we'll, we'll water them a couple times a day keep them hydrated as they cure but these these particular blocks I'm happy with um, you know you search for concrete block uh, Philippines you'll see all kinds of varying quality some of them you can literally pull apart with your fingers uh, but that's just that's just one indication of the of the of the final quality that you're going to get um, as the name suggests they're hollow and you know, what you're really supposed to do is pour your mortar mix um, down into your wall. You're supposed to fill your entire wall up and um, it, that varies too. You know, some some builders will make a cursory try at it. Some of them will get a little bit more than others. I plan to make sure that we not only get the appropriate uh, amount of mortar mix in there, uh, but I'm also going to vibrate it, so these, these walls are going to be completely filled as they should be uh, with mortar mix. Um, here's a, a look at one of our footings that we poured yesterday, and uh, it, it worked out after a lot of a um, lot of stress and second guessing about how we were going to take care of this with all the extra water we were dealing with ended up working out uh, you can see this particular footing here is dry uh, and uh, vibrating that mixture really worked out um, it's, it's it looks nice I was down in there and it's it's gonna cure up fine and so has all the other uh, the footings. There's only a couple left with a little bit of water. And uh, so what, what we're doing now is we're excavating the wall footings and 
for whatever reason, I, I, I should have pressed further with with the idea that maybe we should have dug the wall footings at the same time as you know the column footings because it turns out that would have let the water drain out of you know 10 of the footings just by gravity um, why why that wasn't suggested to me I don't know the workers have their own processes that they follow and they followed for years and years and that's 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 one of the processes to I guess put the you know start with your columns uh, I didn't catch it I, I was focused on the water I should have explored that idea while we were you know doing the trenching around the property but uh, so lesson learned on that if we would have dug the perimeter footings for the walls I think a lot of the water would have escaped uh, and then the other reason why why they didn't or the, why we probably didn't want to pour the wall footings uh, before the column was poured is because then you you lose your box you know you, you lose your your earth box where you're gonna you know pour your concrete but we could have overcome that with some plywood uh, so lesson learned for next time
This is the top of the property. We had character, um, caretakers here for many years, but they moved out preparation for us. But I don't think we're going to be ready in January. It's going to be more like May, June. You can hear the thunder. Just my luck, it's going to rain on me. So a lot of cleaning up to do. But just wanted to show a little bit of it. It's kind of a level area at the top of the hill. And then just gradually slopes down from here until you, you run into another little stream down the bottom of the hill. It's very quiet. Very cool. I'd say it's about 75 degrees right now. Maybe a little less. Even during the, when the sun's out. If you're out of direct sunlight, it's nice and cool. So the, the property goes all the way from if you look carefully on this side, there's concrete posts with barbed wire. That's the edge on that side. And then it's marked all the way down by mango trees on a trail. There's a horse trail that goes down again to the creek. So it's bordered by the creek on that side, and by the, the road on this side barbed wire over here and the horse trail on this side. I'm going to get down and get back on the bike before I get rained on. I think I don't think I'll make it, but we'll see what happens. Very slick, I've got the wrong shoes on. My boots are in our household goods, which we finally paid the last of the uh, last of the fees. So hopefully we're gonna get a shipment here maybe at the end of the week or early next week, I'm hoping. Then I can get outfitted in my, my regular boots, some regular work clothes. But most of all, we'll get our necessities and our tools. But this is this is I like this because it's a nice, it's a big pretty big drop off, nice hill, and then we're going to have to come up with some solution when we start building. I think the architect wants to build a, wants to build a ramp here for construction purposes, but what I'd like to do, I'd really like to excavate this this hill and cut into the hill and build an underground uh, shop with poured concrete walls and ceiling and then, and then cover it back up with soil and landscape it and that would be pretty pretty awesome and not to mention it would be cool and cool as in temperature cool all year. I 
the property next door to us is owned by some a family in Lucena. They just come up here on the weekends. And we tried to buy that property, but they bought it out from under us. Kind of a sneaky deal. They went down. It wasn't happy. It's not very large, but it would have been a nice addition since it's right next to us. These are mango trees and uh, they planted these all along the perimeter of the property. And one, one apex of our property right here You can see uh, it's kind of a this is part of the triangle that is formed. And the other part is right on the edge of the horse trail.